This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before getting to the workout, check out the Instagram post for the warm up. Want to make sure you're getting ready for the workout by increasing your heart rate, increasing your body temperature, and you're starting to swell a little bit before you get into it. For today's strength portion, we're going to be working on the push press. We're going to be adding a little bit of tempo into that, and we're going to be using the dumbbells. So the push press, weights on the shoulders. The push press is a dip drive. Notice that drive gets the weight off my shoulders, and then I press and lock out with the lock the dumbbells out overhead. Bring the weight back down, dip, drive, go again. Now, we're going to be adding tempo. So we're going to be adding a three-second negative or three, can, three seconds to the down portion. So when the weight's overhead, as we lower it down to the shoulders, that's going to be a three-second descent. What that's going to look like, I'm going to dip, drive the weight overhead, and then one, two, three. The moment that dumbbells touch my shoulders, I dip, and I'm ready to go into the next push press. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. This is going to be done as five sets of three repetitions. Remember to add that three-second descent. Now, because we're adding that negative in, you're probably not going to be going, able to go as heavy as you would with a regular push press. Adding that time under tension is going to create more of a stimulus on the muscle tissue. It's going to place the muscle tissue under a little bit more stress. And so, because of that, a lighter, may, a lighter weight may be more appropriate. Again, build up to your tolerance level to what you, could, should, what you, can, tol what you can handle, but don't go too heavy as we want to make sure that we stay in control of the weight. So if you're not able to maintain that three-second negative, then maybe you don't go that heavy. And if you're limited by the weight selection that you have, if you have only light weights that you're able to use, then maybe instead of doing three reps, you instead do five or six or something a little bit more. Once we're done the strength portion, we're going to move into the Metcon. The Metcon is, a, uh, is seven rounds for time of 20 mountain climbers, seven dumbbell thrusters, and seven bent over dumbbell rows. The RX weight for the men is 50 pounds. RX weight for the ladies is 35 pounds. When doing the uh, mountain climbers, we want to make sure that we're not extending through the low back. We want to make sure that we're pulling the rib cage down towards our hips and we're staying nice and tight through in midline. So what that's going to look like, if I use, I'm going to use my dumbbells uh, for my handles. So I'm going to have to keep my hands on the dumbbells the entire time and I'm going to have a nice, good brace position. I'm not uh, lowering through the hips. Hips are elevated about the same height uh, or close to the same height as my shoulders. And from this position, I'm going to work on driving my knees up to my chest. Now, I want to make sure these are fast, but I also want to make sure that I'm not moving too much on my shoulders and my hips and shoulders. So I want to stay nice and flat. So some good reps would be something like that. We're going to really engage our core while doing that. And we're going to increase our heart rate. What, I, what you don't want to do is you don't want to be bouncing around too much. So this, there's no control in my hips there. If anything, yeah, I'm going to get my heart rate up, but I'm not engaging through my core, to, or through my midline, to maintain a solid position. So I want to make sure we're holding something a lot similar to the brace position you would have for, say, the dumbbell push press or for any heavy, squat, heavy uh, movement. We want to make sure we're nice and tight. So... Brace, and then keep the hips low and flat as you go into your 20 mountain climbers. So every time you drive your knee up, that is one rep. So uh, that'd be 10, alter, uh, 10 reps per leg or 20 alternating movements there with your legs. Once you're done your 20 mountain climbers, you're going to get the weight onto the shoulders, and you're going to thruster. The thruster is a squat into a press. So it's just a continuation of the push press, but instead of just dipping and pressing, we're going to squat and press. Getting that same type of leg drive that we would for the push press, but we're just doing that coming out of a squat position. So seven thrusters. Once you're done with your thrusters, you're gonna drop the dumbbells down to your sides, send the hips back, bend over at the waist, nice and stay nice and tight through the shoulders, and then you're gonna go into seven bent over rows. 
pulling your elbows back and the dumbbells towards your chest. Maintaining scapular, uh, scapular activation or active shoulders the entire time. Once you've done seven of those bent over rows, then you would put the weights back down on the floor and then we go back into position for your mountain climbers. You're gonna do as, you're gonna do seven rounds, do them as quickly, but as efficiently and as good form as you can without sacrificing too much of your form for your speed. See how fast you can do seven rounds. That's your score. Get after it, have fun.